so talk to me about Siphon. Um, what is it, and what's the what's the big deal, um, and, and how do you deal with it? Yeah, Siphon is a very very neat uh, tool uh, written by the Citizen Labs uh, guys, good guys from Toronto. And uh, the point of Siphon is that if you ever uh, stuck behind a nation state firewall and you can't visit the service that you need, say Google or Gmail. Uh, then Siphon is the tool that libertarians and freedom seekers use to walk around a nation state firewall. It's open source, it's free, and uh, anybody can use it. So like a lot of tools, bad guys can use tools that good guys created for good purposes and gals. And so what we uh, need to be aware of is that bad guys can easily bundle this now with exfiltration tools. So if you were in a situation where someone wanted to steal intellectual property from your company, um, they could do that by, uh, even if you have a very, very strong firewall. Uh, in fact, if you just Google uh, search uh, all kinds of firewalls, how to block siphon, you'll see that they all have difficulty or that they all cannot do it. Um, and it's for good reason. So let me show you how it works and then it'll make sense why it's difficult to do. I'm on siphon.ca right now. And I'm going to go ahead and download the app. It's free. It's for available for a number of platforms. And I'm running it on a Windows uh, virtual machine on my Mac here to demonstrate it. So I'm just going to grab it here and download it. Uh, there we are, Siphon 3, the very latest version, fresh off of their website because it gets updated all of the time with new sponsors and new hosts. And when it launches, it's a standalone app that you just start up and it becomes basically a gateway, a proxy. As you see right here, uh, my computer just suddenly became virtually present in Fremont, California. And so if I now were to uh, do anything on the internet, I am this IP address through a sponsor um, that allows me to circumvent this particular firewall. Now, the firewall that I'm running here, RDNS firewall, runs uh, a feature called Don't Talk to Strangers. So let me uh, just show you how that works. So if I enable Don't Talk to Strangers, it isn't running yet, but we're going to turn it on now and save the setting. If I do that, I'm now disallowing DNSless traffic, which I can explain uh, more later. And I'm also going to turn on this subscription blacklist uh, of Siphon host names. So these are domain fronting domains. These are sponsors that say, hey, I will be a sponsor for Siphon and allow you to proxy all of your traffic through my public website. Okay, so that's what they're doing. I'm also going to be running two separate logs here. This log here, uh, let me just refresh, make sure it, uh, oh, I'm still connected to Siphon. I need to disconnect <laughs> so that my demonstration works of how it cannot reconnect, right? So I'm going to show you what my domain log looks like. Um, these are all DNS queries that my Mac is asking for. And then these here are all IP connections that it's going to try to make. So instead of a domain log, we're watching the traffic log. The traffic log literally shows every single IP connection uh, attempting to be made. So let's close Siphon and relaunch it now that we have turned on those features. And let's start it up again. There we go. We're going to hide some windows here so we can see what it's uh, trying to do. It's going to sit here and connect, and you can see all a diff of the different IP addresses that it's trying to connect to, but you see they're in red, so they're being blocked. All the green stuff, that's my computer doing legitimate stuff. Uh, in the domain queries, the same thing. I'm a legitimate LastPass user. Uh, that was allowed through, but all these other queries, they are actually all siphon trying to find one open hole through which it can exfiltrate stuff. And it'll sit here and it'll say Siphon is connecting and continue to do that for as long as the app stays running and it will never succeed. And yet you can see all of the different IP addresses and domain names that are actually sponsors of Siphon and not able to connect. And eventually, actually it doesn't take that long and Siphon comes up with a message, right there it is. It says, oh no, you seem to be having trouble connecting because it's recognized it's been trying for several uh, minutes at this point and it's still not able to connect. And actually you can see that it just grabbed itself a new file, right? This s3.amazonaws.com link. Let me just pause this so I can highlight it. This here 
was being contacted by Siphon and said, hey, I can't connect. Grab me a new list of sponsors. And those lists of sponsors, doesn't matter how often they get updated because it's typically these IP addresses that are updated and you are already a subscriber on the DNS stuff. And the Don't Talk to Strangers piece takes care of all of these random IP addresses. Because they were not looked up by DNS, they cannot make an outgoing connection. And so therefore, Siphon will never be successful at hiding in plain sight. So if bad guys are using this to try and egress, that, uh, this is where it stops. That's right. Bad guys can no longer use Siphon to egress or exfiltrate um, any of your proprietary data.